Hello, what's up? Uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you're go uh, you're doing good. Uh, I'm Muguna, Muguna Junior. This is the first video here, and we are talking about cars that you can actually buy with less than two hundred thousand Kenya shillings. So if you have not subscribed, I'm giving you time to do so. So subscribe. <laughs> So at number 10, I will go with the uh, brands. Uh, let's start with the Toyota. There are very many varieties that you can actually buy uh, from the Toyota company. Boy, the Toyota is one of the best selling cars for over, I think, the last 15 years, especially here in Kenya. So we have a lot of cars. Uh, when you look at the Toyota side of it, you can get actually so many cars that you can actually buy with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings. So number one, I'll go with the Toyota Corolla. We all know Toyota Corolla. You know that those old models, um, a bit of uh, some NZEs, but well, you have to work on something when it comes to NZE, not 100%, less than 200,000 shillings. But this, this, uh, some NZE, yes, you can actually get some. Uh, this is the, the, the Toyota Sprinter. The Toyota Sprinter is actually a good deal. You can actually get one with less than 200,000. Um, the Fun Cargo. The Fun Cargo is also another one that you can actually get with uh, less than 200,000. Uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, which other car do you think? Uh, maybe the Caldina. The Caldina. Well, you can get a Caldina with less than 200, but maybe you can work on something. Yeah, you can pretty sure about that. You have something to work on when it comes to Caldina. But uh, other, other, other car, uh, on the Toyota side of it, I think it would be a Starlet, uh, this Toyota Starlet. But okay, there are some people who tune the, the Starlet and become racing cars and stuff like that. But for a Kawaida Starlet, uh, you can actually get with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, but of course, if, if you tune it, if you tune it and you know you modify it, you know those cool stuff you put and modify it, uh, of course definitely it can come more than that, even uh, around 500, but for a Kawaida Starlet you can actually get one with less than 200 or even 150,000 Kenya shillings. So I think I also go with the, the, the this is the Toyota Detouring, but it was washed out, I think it was washed out, it was replaced by the Probox, I don't know about Probox, Probox I don't think you can get one with less than 200,000 Kenya but the jet wedding, you can actually get one with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings. So, for the Toyota, I think, I think maybe we are done for the Toyota. Uh, did I mention the Splinter? Yes, I did. So, for the Toyota, I think we are done. So, let's go to the next, uh, the, br the next car brand. Uh, oh, so, let's go with Nissan. Nissan. Which Nissan do you think you can actually get with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings? Uh, well, we have so many varieties here, but uh, at number one, I'll go with the Wing Road. It's a nice car. If, if, if you own a cereal shop or you have a business, uh, I think you might focus on owning an, a Wing Road. You can actually get an, an old, not very old, but maybe a, a good Wing Road with less than 200,000. But a new one, I don't think so. So you can actually get a, you can find yourself a Wing Road. It's a, it's a very nice car. Uh, also, the, this Nissan Sunny over here, you can actually get one with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, you, may, you, you guys remember the, the Datsun? You remember the Datsun? Uh, although it was also washed away out of the market, but you can actually get one with uh, less than 200,000. And the old blue band, the Nissan blue band, you can actually get one with uh, this old blue band. This is what I'm talking, the 80s and the 90s. You can actually get one with less than 200,000. Bearing it's, it's fuel economical. I mean, you know, actually a fuel, uh, you're good, you're good. So you can actually get one with less than 200,000. Uh, maybe, let's shift. This this particular one, I don't know why I don't see it uh, on the road so often, but this this particular car that I like so much, uh, the Ford, let's shift to Ford. This is a Ford, the, the Ford, uh, the Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang, I love that car a lot. Uh, you can actually get a good Ford Mustang with 
the less than 200,000, but as a project car, yes, as a project car, you can get one here in Kenya, even with maybe less than 100. But uh, a good Ford, a good Ford Mustang might be difficult to do, but for a project car, you can you can be sure of that. You can actually get a, pro, a good project car uh, with less than 200,000. You can also get a Ford Maverick, although they are, I don't see them on the road, I don't know why. I think it's, that, it's high time we start appreciating these cars. Uh, you can actually get a Ford Maverick. You can actually get a Ford, um, a Ford Capri, although now the, the problem here is the spare parts because these are a bit old cars and then they are a bit uh, washed away out of the market. But you can actually get a Ford Capri, which is uh, which is a good deal. Uh, yeah, which is a good deal, but pretty utasumbuka ikikuja kwa spare part. But uh, the Ford, I think we should focus on only this classic. Cars, man, they are, they are they're so good. They are so 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 good. Uh, maybe the other one uh, might be the Fuju. I mean, the Fuju people call it Fuju, the other call it Fuju, other call it Fuju. So it depends on on on, on yourself. But the other one would be a Fuju, the Fuju by Kuvo. Uh, that pretty sure. I mean, you can get it with even less than a hundred thousand. Yeah. Pretty sure about it. You can actually get a good Fujo by Kufo with less than uh, two hundred thousand. Uh, not as a project, as a fully built one. Yeah, you can actually get a fully built one with less than two hundred thousand. You can also get the the four the four uh, the Fujo four hundred four. You remember this Fujo four hundred four? Then you it as the circle up on belly. So you can also get one. But now the problem with Fujo and uh, Ford. These, these, these types of cars, uh, when it comes to spare parts, uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to, to find these spare parts. So I think uh, you might be cautious, be cautious on these cars, what you're getting yourself into. But they're nice cars, they're nice cars. I mean, they are, they're, they're spare, their spare parts are long lasting. So I think owning a Pujo, uh, 544, even the 545, uh, even the 545 is, is a, this, this one over here, this 545 is, is, a, is a real deal, it's a real deal, it's a nice car. Uh, uh, well, the, it's, 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 a, it's a little bit dusty, but I mean, when it comes to fuel and everything, but it's a nice car, it's a nice deal. If, if, if you're looking for a weekend car, so why not, why not, uh, why not go with the Fuji, the, the 545, it's a, it's a really nice car. Uh, if you focus on it, so maybe the other brand I would focus on would be the Volkswagen, the VW. Talk about the VW Beetle. You remember those Beetles in Yazuku? <laughs> yeah, the, the engine at the back. I think uh, a VW Beetle is a good deal as well. Uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know about the spare parts. I've never owned one. I don't know even someone who, who owns one, but. I think that's that's a nice car. I've 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 watched so many vlogs, uh, people talking about it. But uh, I think I think the VW Beetle is is something good. It's it's a nice it's a nice car. Uh, uh, the the engine it doesn't have bigger engine. So I mean when it comes to fuel, you are sorted. So I think the Vol the Volkswagen Beetle this one and um, and uh, the, the the Volkswagen Combi the the, the the VW Combi. That's also a good deal, by the way, for adventure. If you love adventure, if you love traveling, if you tune it well, it might be good. It's a, it's a nice it's a nice car that will give you good, good, good service. So you might focus on it, the, the VW uh, Combi. Maybe, which other VW do you know? Maybe the Golf, the, 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 the Golf Mark 1 and the Mark 2 Golf. You can, also, you can also get one with less than 200, I think, even with 150. Maybe, of course, uh, maybe choose to focus on it as a project car or not a project okay depends but you can actually get a mark one and a mark two even a mark three i think so uh, with less than two hundred thousand kenya shillings and it's a good 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 deal so maybe the next one is a suzuki 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 ah well which suzuki do you think you can get with less than two hundred thousand uh, the Suzuki Swift, someone might say that the Suzuki Alto. Uh, well, yeah, if you, if you own a business in town and you're looking to, uh, for a car that you're sending documents from one office to another, I think the Alto and um, 
no not a, no, not a new alto a new alto no but an old one a little bit and um, the old uh, Suzuki Swift it's a uh, it's a good deal if you own a business uh, shop in town so you might choose to focus on the on the Suzuki Swift but uh, for your own car I think I'll go with the Vitara the Suzuki Vitara and uh, oh this this Suzuki what's the difference between the Suzuki Vitara and this Suzuki Escudo by the way what's what's the difference between these two cars hmm, what's the difference and what's the difference between the Suzuki Vitara and the Suzuki Grand Vitara? What's the difference? So someone might ask this between the Suzuki Vitara and the Suzuki Escudo. They look alike, by the way. They look so alike. Uh, but the, with the Suzuki Vitara and the Suzuki Grand Vitara, the difference here is uh, is actually it's an it's an upgrade for the Grand Vitara. The Grand Vitara came with a bigger engine, uh, with a two point five liter engine, uh, a V six engine. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a more better, it's a more, it has, uh, I mean, bigger space, everything, uh, you know, in the, in the Suzuki Vitara, we have a five-speed manual or automatic, uh, this we have six-speed, so I think it's an upgrade for the Vitara, uh, for the Grand Vitara, from the Vitara, so, but the difference between a, an Escudo and, uh, the Kawaita Vitara, it's actually, hey, it's, it's, it's hard to tell because they look alike by the way. I even don't know the difference, but they look alike. Someone might confuse between the two cars. So we need to do a, I need to do a research between the two cars. So I think the Suzuki Vitara and the Suzuki Escudo, it's also a nice game. Uh, bearing in mind the spare parts are readily available. Uh, uh, the engine is not big. I mean, the 1620cc, you can... Uh, uh, so we have no problem with the fuel and all those stuff so i think that's that's a good deal as well to the suzuki vitara and the suzuki escudo uh maybe let's shift to the other cars that people fear sisi wanyera tunaziogopa sana 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 the german uh talk about the, the mercedes benz uh the bmw but let's focus first on the mercedes which mercedes do you think we can actually get uh with uh with less than 200 so for me, I would go with the W123. Uh, yes, a W123, a fully built W123. We can actually get it uh, here in Kenya with less than 200,000. Uh, also, the which other car is this? Uh, the W, the E, the the, the C200. It is the for the the 80s and the 90s. You can actually get one. With less than two hundred thousand, and also the the Mercedes E five fifty, I think I love that car. I love I love it. I love it. You can actually get one with less than two hundred, but uh, pretty sure that you can you will work on something. There's something that you have to work on, but um, as a first time owner, I think I would not advise you to get uh, in, yourself into owning these cars, the Mercedes and the BMW because. Uh, well, the spare parts, the spare parts are not cheap. To be honest, the spare parts are not cheap. Uh, you have to work for yourself. Uh, you, you, you go around these cars, definitely. You know, you have to to chip in real money on these cars. So I don't, I wouldn't advise yourself to get as a first time car owning a Mark uh, might might be tricky, kidogo. So I think for the Mercedes Benz, maybe we are done. So let's focus on the next. The, the BMW, the BMW, the BMW as for now I know of, uh, of a 318i, I actually know of a friend who is selling one uh, at 160, but uh, you have to work on something, Kama Kawaida, as I have seen, and uh, the 520i is also a nice car that you can actually get with less than 200,000, uh, maybe, yeah, those are the cars that I know for for sure you can get with less than 200,000 Kenya shillings. So maybe if you have a question or if you want me to do the next video, tell me the, which, which, which cars should I talk about. So maybe until next time, it's, it's a wrap. Bye. Subscribe.